Hey guys, good evening. Hi, good evening. <laughs> this is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, You're welcome. let's get it ready. Today we're going to be talking about regrets, <coughs> all right? Those things that happened in the past and somehow you feel sorrow. Yeah, I wanted to please uh, remind me of yesterday's class. What did we cover yesterday? Do you remember? Solo uno, just one. What was yesterday's topic? Behaviors. We talk about behaviors. Behaviors, that's right. Yeah, um, what was the 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 age range that we covered when we were teens in our twenties and then now? Yep. Okay. So I need a volunteer. Remember, every single class, right at the minute, right at the first minutes of the class, we're going to recap what we covered last class. Okay. So who can tell me, I need a volunteer to talk to me about their teens, when he or she was a teenager, describing personality and behavior? No volunteers? Okay. Oh. David. Yes? How were you when you were a teen? When I was a teen. Uh, I, I was carefree. Mm -hmm. Because, well, when I was teen, teenager, I was, um, I was very angry. Bye. And I had had a lot of problems with them. Uh, but I consider in those times, I was carefree. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. Choose a victim. Okay, uh, let me check. Uh, William. William, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How were you in your twenties? <laughs> okay. How was your personality my, in your twenties? In my twenties, okay. As David, or like David, I was um, very carefree, mm -hmm. I guess. And I, I prefer. Uh, I was used to 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 spend my whole time praying or doing something, but nothing related to my studies, to my responsibilities. So it was a very complicated uh, time for me, I guess. Okay. Is it better now? Uh, no. No. <laughs> it's okay. different today. <laughs> okay. Different, not, but not better. Nice. Um, uh, I, different. <laughs> okay. Good. Choose the last volunteer. In quotation. Okay. Um, what about? Uh, Elizabeth. 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 She's not here. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, she Lula. is. Elizabeth Alvarez. Oh, yeah. yeah, I saw her. Elizabeth. What happened to me? What, what happened to me? What happened to me? Okay. Um, <laughs> Tell us about your personality um, now. How's your personality now and your behavior? Are you talking to me? Yes, yes, yes. I have problems over here. Um, well, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, we talked yesterday about it and I. I talk about I'm so sensible. I I am and I was so sensible. Um, okay, sensible. What else? Hello. All right. So you were sensible. What else? Give me just one more at least. 
um, tienen que ser de las que hablamos ayer. No, no, you can, you can say whatever you want to say. Oh, how responsible. I'm so responsible. Mm -hmm. And decided. Okay. Um, I think I'm too young. Um, and I'm a, I'm a mom, my okay. mother. Mm -hmm. I, I got so shy, so um, I'm a, <laughs> my mind is empty. Okay, empty. no worries. No worries. Good job. We're going to warm up. Thank you very much for trying. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. Remember my rules, guys. Try. Don't be sorry. Respect. Good. So let's get hands into business. And let's go ahead and start on today's lesson. You ready? Yes. Thank you. Come on, everybody's yes. muted. So yeah. if you talk, you talk to nobody. Okay. okay. Repeat with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson, lesson, lesson objective. objective. By the end of this class, participants will learn, understand, and practice. Uh huh. By the end of this class, class the will learn, understand, and practice. Expressing regrets and hypothetical situations. In hypothetical situations. With here, hypothe. That th. Th. Hypothe. Hypothetical. Hypothetical situation. With should have plus past participles and if clauses. We should have Ok, good. No importa que algunos se queden, guys. Ok, solo sigámosle dando. Now, I'm going to read it completely. And then, everybody's going to read it. Right after that, I need one volunteer to read it by himself or herself. So, by the end of this okay. class... Participants will learn, understand, and practice expressing regrets in hypothetical situations which should have plus past participles and if clauses. Go, everybody. By the end okay. of this class, we will learn, understand, and practice expressing regrets in hypothetical situations should have plus participles. Uh huh, and if classes, nice. And okay. if classes. I need a volunteer to read it all, please. Okay, by the end of this class, participants will learn, understand, and practice expressing regrets in hypothetical situations which you have plus participles and if classes. Okay, good, good job. That was who, William? Yes, I, I was. Okay, nice. Um, the reason why I ask you to have the camera, guys, is because I can start relating faces with voices, you know, mm -hmm. and help you a little bit. Okay. So, as long as you're All naked, right. you're welcome to turn the camera on. All right, so let's get it here. Uh, Read it with me, please. Expressing regrets and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regrets and describing hypothetical situations. Situation. Nice. Situ. Situ. That little situation. Situation. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you a tip. Here, when you have T I O N S. Many people say shong, shong with an O. So here, you don't normally have to say it that way. You have to go from the sh to the n. No O in between. So you're going to say sh. Okay. Situation. Right. Situation. Uh -huh. Situation. Situation. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and mute everybody's phone. Uh, everybody's phone. Everybody's microphones. And let's go ahead and watch this video. Pay attention to the structure because we're going to be using both. Should you have learned English before? 
Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know the way you should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, you have to speculate about... Okay, so this is the structure that we're going to be using today. For example, I should have. Say it with me, please. I should have. 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 Exactly. Now, let's go ahead and link it. I should have. 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 So, how do you say, me debí de haber levantado temprano? I should have wake up early. Earlier. I should have I should have I should have woke I should have woken woken up earlier. No, it's woke uh -huh. past participle, I think that is woken. Mm -hmm. Woken up. Woken up uh -huh. earlier. I should up earlier. Have wait I should woke woke up. Woke up. Woken up early. Woken up. Woken up, woken up earlier. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Early. Yeah. Early. Yeah. Have woken up. Up. How is past participle early. of wake up? Woken up. So woken. We go woken. How uh -huh. are you okay? A -E -N. Correct. It's in the chat okay. right now. It's written on the group chat on, on okay. Zoom. Okay. Zoom. Yeah. Woken up. All right. Very good. Let me ask you something. Did I wake up early? Based no, on you didn't. No, I didn't. No, but I no you have. didn't. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sure. So, debí de haberme levantado temprano. For A or B reason, I didn't. So, um, ask me this question. Do you have any regret or do you regret about something? <laughs> ask me this question. Uh, do you regret about something? Do you regret about something? Exactly. The pronunciation is a little bit softer. It's not regret. It's regret. 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 Do you regret about something? Do you regret about something? I regret. I should have learned how to play the guitar. I should have. I learned. should have learned how to play the guitar. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. I should have learned how to play the guitar. Here, if you notice, the complement is a little bit longer. Why? Because that's why I want to say. Now, tell me some regrets you have. Don't explain to me why. Just give me some examples so everybody can see the structure. I should have studied more in the university. Okay, nice. I should have put... No, I should have... I, mm -hmm. I should have learned, learned French in... In my in the university too. Okay, okay. in the university. Nice. How do you? I say should have rested more. more differently. <laughs> so I guess you're tired. Yeah. I I should have 
worked work, 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 uh, more in, in the day. Okay. I should have worked work, more. More in the day. During the day. During the day. During the day. How do you say during the day? During the day. During the day. During the day. Let me give you some expressions. Um, give me another example. I'm gonna give you an expression at the end. I should have saved money the last three years. <laughs> okay. Okay. I should have saved money. In here, I'm gonna change your example, Arturo. Right? Yes. Arturo. Okay. Good. When you talk the little squares, I don't know if you see this, but the little squares with your image they change okay so when you're talking i get to see your faces that's very important i should have saved money when i could in, in the last three years uh -huh. you can say that in in the past three years in the past in the past three years <laughs> or when i could cuando pude when i could when i could when i could, when I could. Okay. When I that's could. right um how do you say um Debí haber pedido perdón. I should have asked. I should, I should have, I should have asked. Ask sorry. Mm, oh, sorry. You have an idea, but that's too, too Spanish. I should, I should, I should have say asked sorry. for forgiveness. I should have asked for uh, forgiveness. Apollo, Apollo, remember that one. Oh, I should, I should have, have apologized. Nice. I should have apologized. I should, uh, apologize. I should have apologized to my, I should, my I to my teacher. I should have apologized to my teacher. Okay. I should have apologized to my teacher. Because I didn't study. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. So guys, this is what we're gonna be talking about, and um, yeah, one of the things that I regret. And this is a, an example of, of what you can say. One of the things that I regret is not learning how to play the guitar or the drums. Okay, because okay. I like music. I have a, uh, I, a lot of my friends are musicians. A lot of my friends are musicians, and I think that I could have, I could have something. I could have done something better. You know, one of my passions is music. So um, that's what I should have done. I didn't do it. My father told me, hey, I'm going to pay you the classes. I said no, because I was too wow. busy doing other things, you know, as a teenager. So I wanted to talk about the things that you regret. Okay. Again, you can go as personal as you can. Okay. I should have killed you. Be careful with things like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I should have uh, stolen that bicycle. Nah. So be Sorry, what did what you, you do? say? What did you say? I should have stolen that bicycle. The I can remember, so I have a very short memory. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to send this image to the, to the group with a stretcher. Okay. And I need you to please talk about the things that you, that you regret. But get more information, explain why, ask questions to the other people. The idea is for you to... Um, for you to practice as much as you can. Okay. Give me a second. Break rooms. Mm -hmm. Two to three people per room. <laughs> okay, there okay. we go. Accept it, please. And I'm going to send the image right now to WhatsApp. Okay, so we are waiting for Sulami. Miss Mejia? I'm there. Uh -huh. Do you see the join button? Okay. And Alberto, and Francisco Alberto, who's connecting audio, he won't hear me right now. I'm going to ask chat ahorita. I'm going to visit the first group in the meantime. Because, uh, 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 I'm gonna try it. 
All right. I think we have to practice with using should. Yes, I should have, and, and the thing that you have some sort of regret. I should have slept more yesterday. Uh, yes, I should have slept more yesterday. No, what, how is the past participle of sleep? Slept. Sleep. Slept. That's an, that's an irregular verb. So you have sleep, ah, okay. slept, slept. It's the same as the past. How do you write? I should, ah, it's have, the same. I should have called my girlfriend yesterday because she was angry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, and okay, I guess she's you. still angry, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Come on. Go I ahead should and... have... Mm -hmm. I should have it ate more ate more nutritive in the last month. Okay. <laughs> eaten healthier, you can say. I should have eaten and, healthier. Okay. Eight no. Eight is just the past, okay. Correct. Correct. Okay, you're doing great. Make sure that everybody participates. Um I wanna hear who's the other one? Sulamita? I want to hear okay. Sulamita too. No, I'm, 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 I'm the one speaking. Oh, you are the one speaking. Okay. I should have, I don't know. I should have sp spoken to, I should have spoken to my classmate yesterday. Mm, if I had studied more, I would have won the scholarship. Ah, okay. That's the next structure, the one that is coming. But guys, I All wanted right. to go deeper. I wanted to talk about it. All right. It's not. I have, well, I should. I I think I that I should have studied psychology. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. I should have studied. Say it with me, yes. please. Studied. I should have studied. Study. Okay, and there, like here you go you. with why. Because. So why and Douglas and Elizabeth, once she finishes or during the, her explanation, you can ask questions. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Why? And try to get more information from each other. Because I All studied right. economics. I am economist, but my, in my work and in everything I like, I always work with people in the area of human resource with where all the psychologists work. Mm -hmm. So I think that I I should have started psychology. Do you like it more? Yes. Okay. Is I think nice. That is most like to my personality. Nice. Good, good. That's what I'm talking about. Sharing information. And by the way, uh, good job, Sulamita. You can say Francisco Alberto Romero. Okay, someone is asking for help. Um, you can say, I lost my train of thought. Se me fue el avión. Pueden decir, I lost my train of thought. Okay. Human resources, I got it. Say it with me, please. Human resources. Human, Human resources. resources. Correct. All right, keep on. We're missing Douglas and Elizabeth. Let me check another group. You're doing great. All right. Hey guys, I'm here. Did you call me? Sorry? Did you call me? No. No? Okay. <laughs> no, really no. <laughs> okay. Good, good. I thought I thought you did. Um Francisco is in black. Are you here, Fran? Hello, Francisco. Yeah, I think. Francisco, no. if you can hear me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write you. <laughs> so, Veronica and David, tell me, what you, got? what you got? Could you repeat that, please? Show me what you got. It's like saying, <laughs> muestrenme que tienen. Mm. I'm talking with David and I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that the last year I went an uh, interview with uh, Korean people and they knew someone who uh, speak English in a high level. And I say, if I, if I should have English before, 
I got it with the yo. Ah, uh, okay. So you can say, if I, is that the right structure? What is the structure that we are using? If I, I, subject. I, I say I should have, uh -huh. I should have uh -huh. learning I should English have? before. Nice. Learned. Learn. Mm -hmm. I, should I should have, have learned. learned. Yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. And uh, then we have uh, David. Show me. Okay. I should have learned English before because in this moment I mm, I get a lot of uh, I get a better job in this moment. Yes. <laughs> okay, Fran. Hello, Fran. Can you hear us, Francisco? Fran, can you hear us? No, escucha, Francisco. I don't think he can. He can hear us. Yeah, he can. He can. Hello, Francisco. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the meantime, keep on practicing with more things so you can have the structure clear and try to keep more. Okay, try to get more information. Ask yourself <laughs> details. Okay. Okay. What else do you regret? I'm here. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Hi. I should have... I should have, have. I should have uh, no. Uh -huh. No. Uh, about uh, the nature. The, okay. Nature. About nature. Nature. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. nature. Good. Okay. I like the nature. structure. I like the structure. Just make sure that you are using the third verb the third column you have no new known no no known no 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 exactly it's past participle participle correct okay. correct no yes 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 and make sure mauricio that you pronounce the n known known no. Oh, no. Wait a second. Let me activate my video. No. Generalmente quito el video en esta parte porque me tarda más si tengo el video en cambiarme de, uh -huh. de sesión a sesión. So, vamos acá. Um, la, la, the lips are not going to touch each other because that will be M. Mama. So, we're going to say, mm -hmm. I should have known. I should, I should have, have known. known. I, I, should should have, I should have known. Now, exaggerate, guys. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. Should have known. Un par los labios. Si es posible. I should have known. Ahí está, muy bien. Así está haciendo cara. I should have known. 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 Mantengan la N hasta que se acostumbren a decir la N en sonidos finales, porque se ocupa no. mucho. Entonces, quedémosla. I should have known... I should have known... I should other, have other, known... Other I should have known... Uh -huh. Nice, Oscar. Other okay. example. Uh, uh -huh. I should have... I should have... Read... This okay, read. book. I should have read, uh -huh. read this book. I should have read this book. Nice. I good. should have read this book. Nice. Right. Um, good job okay. with the structure. So, Mauri, um, vamos a trabajar un poquito en la articulación. Ah, la articulación okay. es como tú mueves la lengua, la boca, para, para que nos salga más fácil esas cosas como la M y la N. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Te recomiendo buscar un, un tongue twister, un trabalengua de M y N en mm -hmm. inglés. Un tongue twister. Y si es necesario ponerte, no tengo un lápiz, creo yo, cerca. Un lápiz en la boca, así. Mm -hmm. I should have uh -huh. known. I should have known. I should have known. Obviamente no el dedo, ¿verdad? Ok, un lapicero. Ok, 
Um, sure. Continue, guys. Science teacher. Science. Uh -huh. Okay. Oscar, Thank I want to hear one of your examples before I leave. I, I shouldn't have been uh, so shy. Mm, okay. It, it is good, but it's not the structure we are working on. Okay. Okay. I should have? Uh -huh. I should have. Um, okay. I should have uh, woke up. Not woken up. I should have woken up. Woken up. Earlier, yesterday. Why? Add more information. Good job. Okay. Now, because uh -huh, Because I, I didn't, I didn't. Say, I missed, uh, my my family breakfast. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Nice. And here you can continue talking. Hey, how often do you eat with your family? Oh, I don't even have breakfast. And you, blah blah blah. Here's okay. where the conversations start. Continue, guys. Let me check another group. Good Thanks job. Too. Okay. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. We are. Well, well, we are to 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 comment uh, many things that you can make in this quarantine. Ah, okay. Yeah. Things that you can do. Thing that we can do, yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Give me some examples. I want to hear you. Uh, well, um, um, uh, we we are we are comment uh, that uh, uh, we have to or or, or uh, we can um, uh, we can learn to cook in this this quarantine and. Uh, the, the the conversation uh, it was uh, it was I should uh, with with this exercise I, I should have uh, learned to cook in this quarantine and then we we have a uh, so we have a, a comment uh, that that many many of of, of them many of of ours of us many of, of us. us many of us uh, learn to cook. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's let's. I've done a couple of things. Nice, good example, Arturo. Uh, what about you, girls, Irene and Adriana? I need to hear at least one example from you. Okay, Irene. You, Adriana. No problem. In my case, uh, I should uh, learn. I should have learned to drive. Of, uh, before the quarantine. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice. And here is the, the time where we express why. For example, I should have learned how to drive how to. I should have learned how, how to, but you say it how to, how to drive. I'm going to write it down for you. How to drive. Mm -hmm. how, to, how to drive. Yes. I should have. How to drive. And this is why sometimes we do not understand native speakers, right? Because you, when you practice, you say, I should have learned how to drive. But they would say, I should have learned how to drive. It's a big difference on how we write and how we talk. I should have learned how to drive because, and you explain why. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm? So always try to get more information. Ask each other questions. Nice structure, Irene. I liked it. Um, what about you, Adri? In my case, teacher, mm -hmm. I should have learned. Uh, sorry, save money for the quarantine because uh, all is expensive. <laughs> Everything is expensive. Yes. Everything is expensive. <laughs> yes. You know what? I paid. How much? I guess three dollars and fifty cents for a three liter Coca Cola, mm -hmm. and I'm ashamed because I shouldn't have done it. No lo debía haber hecho. I shouldn't have done it, <laughs> but I did it. Okay, nice. Uh, keep on giving more information. We're gonna go back in like one minute or two. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks to you. To watching them, in English. To watch them. Ah, uh, to watch, watch them. them. Mm -hmm. To watch yes. them on English in English. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Another regrets? Regrets? 
my regrets. Uh, well, from the past, uh, let's say um, I have so many regrets. Um, <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> you know, things that happen. Uh, let's talk about my cooking skills. Uh, I didn't plan to be a chef, but now I really love, I really love cooking. That's one of my main things. And I should have studied cooking. I should have studied to be a chef. Mm -hmm. So right now I wouldn't have any problems making uh, my own meals, my own uh, menu. So I think it's one of the one of the big things. And another one, I should have listened to my alcalde and yeah. go to school yeah. and finish my and get my get a, get a degree in El Salvador. So I would have better opportunities here because if you don't have you don't have a degree, you don't get chances to work anywhere. Like everybody's asking you now for like a, something. And when you work in the marine, when you are a marine merchant, they always ask you for a degree. That basically, yeah. express that you are a chef. You are a, you have the ability to do that. Okay. To our yeah, apartment, you should, you should have pay more attention to your teachers. Exactly, I should okay. have pay more attention. That's nice. Hey, good job, guys. Good, 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 good. Thank okay, you. thank you. Um, let's so go in back. My case, Sorry, go you, ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. Tell yeah. me. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Man, it's uh, the sorry. second second <laughs> time your memory. No, no, <laughs> but I don't know why tonight is like this. Okay, but. Uh, I was going to uh, mention something to you, William. Make sure sometimes we use gerunds, sometimes we use infinitive. Normally, if you use two, I can't remember what was the example, but if you use two, you're going to use the base form. Okay. I should have learned um, to drive, for example. Okay, okay. To speak English. So normally after two, we use the the infinitive form of the verb. Different. But there yeah, are well, many. The gerums, uh -huh. There I, are many. I know that we can use the, the gerums in the beginning of the phrase or in the middle. But what, what is the, 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 the idea to use them? This is a very extensive topic. You can use gerunds as subjects. You can use gerunds as continuous tenses. You can use gerunds as nouns in the complement, as yeah. Everything, pretty much. Okay. All right. Um, let's go back to the main room, and we're going to cover okay. the next uh, structure. Okay. Uh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. For your advice. Okay. Anybody home? Come here. We yes, I'm here. I'm here. We're, We're back. back. Okay. Here you are. I'm I here. Lost you. I have a lot. Back of again. <laughs> okay. So, um, thank you very much, guys. I was paying attention to your progress. And, yep, you're doing good. Just make sure you speak a little bit more. Don't be afraid of speaking in English, guys. Make yes. as many mistakes as, as you can so you can learn. All right? So, don't be afraid. Aquí nadie es experto, ni yo. Okay. They said, so, and, uh, where did you learn English, teacher? Um, yeah, that's a bro. That's a, nah. I've never been to the states, guys. Everything I know, how I speak, I got it here. Okay. I studied at Centro Cultural Salvadoreño. Oh, okay. really? Many years ago, on Saturdays only, because I was studying at school. I was still mm -hmm. at school. And, how long, uh, how long have you been studying for? My, my whole life, pretty much. Wow. Good. So, I studied at Centro Cultural Salvadoreño, then I worked in the call center industry for many years, then I started teaching, and every uh -huh. single class, I learned. Okay, so if I could okay. make it, you can definitely do it too. All right. Why? Because nice. I've never been to the state. I don't even want to be there anytime soon. <laughs> In England. So, nor England. Right now, no. Oh, they, right now, so, the situation in the U.S. is not a safe place to be. It is not. It's so, not the best. 
it isn't a safe place to be, especially for Latin American people. Yeah, right yeah. now is not the best moment. It's not the best moment. So guys, um, to give you a little bit of my of my experience, if I could do it here with a lot of effort, with a lot of uh, dedication, you can do it too. Okay. Simple okay. as that. That's All right. You're right, teacher. Thank you for your for your advice. Uh, but so yeah. let's work with the um with these tense so we can practice it. These are gonna be hypothetical situations. In the previous one, we are sure that it didn't happen. Right? That's why you regret. Uh -huh. Or um that it happened. I regret that I broke that Good. window because now I have to pay for it. So it could be okay. something that happened or that didn't happen. And I thought I thought you were looking at me and, and I had the camera off. Okay, so it could be something that happened or that didn't happen. But it's for sure that it was in the past. Here is gonna be something that you don't know. If I had studied, I would have had a better job. Si hubiese estudiado. Okay. Yo tendría un mejor trabajo. Mm -hmm. ¿Estudié en el pasado? En este ejemplo, ¿va? ¿Estudié en el pasado? No, nope, no, no lo hice. No. Si hubiese no. estudiado, yeah. yo tendría un mejor futuro. Entonces, no pasó ni lo, ni lo anterior, no. ni lo del futuro. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's right. wait. I'm gonna give you an example, then you give me some. Here. If I had if, if I had if I had, 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 had siempre va con had, no importa que sea he she if I if had, I had, had if, done, I had, exercise, mm -hmm. if I had exercise, if I had done exercise, comma I, I would have been a better shape thin right now that's my example uh, if i had done exercise i would have would been have thin been right now right right okay now, give me some examples guys before we go back to the break rooms to make sure you got it okay if if i had if i had a diet if i have done my diet okay i wouldn't be fat okay yes An example. yes it's a good example but let's go ahead and work with this one you need would or could then have then the Man. verb in past participle and then the complex. Man. Remember if I, have it, it if I had done my diet, I would if I have done I would be I would have simply will have. I would have a better body. I would have y el verbo según la estructura. I would have a good body. I would have had, I would have had a better body. A better body. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, nice, nice. We I wouldn't. To to. Uh -huh. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been tired if I had gone to the bed earlier. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like that one, William. Remember Different. that. Okay. It is the same topic, but. Let me explain this. You can say, for example, let's use the previous one. If I had done my diet, comma, mm -hmm. I would have had a better body. So, okay. you can also say, I would have had a better body, no comma, if I had done my diet. If I had lost my kids, I would, uh, yeah, have, I would have, have had a body if I had done my diet. So, let me I give you a tip, have. guys. Si empieza con F, aquí son dos cláusulas. La cláusula if y la otra cláusula. La, una cláusula es como una oración, una parte de la oración. Mm -hmm. o, o una oración completa. Entonces, si ponemos if en la primera cláusula, tenemos que poner una coma antes de la, de la segunda cláusula. ¿Ok? 
Pero si le damos uh -huh. vuelta, si ponemos la segunda cláusula en primer lugar, ya no, no necesitamos coma. la coma porque el if hace las funciones de la coma. Okay. ¿Qué significa eso? Lo mismo, es the same thing. The only uh -huh. thing that you can play, like Legos, uh -huh. you can play them backwards. Okay. But right. let's go ahead and keep this structure so we don't get confused. Nice job, William. I like what you did. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, okay. do you have any questions before we go to the break rooms? Because we only have five minutes. So far, so good. Okay. Good. So good. So far, so good. Okay. Go ahead and accept the, in the invite. I'm going to send this picture to the group. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. I made a mistake. All right. Break rooms. Open all break rooms. Hit it, guys. Okay. Okay, so I'm sending the picture right now. Uh -huh. If I had answered the phone, I would have told you the news. Nice. If I have, I, uh, if I had used, I, uh, if I had used the dictionary, I, I will, I will have learned more. Nice. If we had had more time, we would have visited another place. Correct. There you go. Ellie? Hello? Okay. What's your example, Ellie? I said, if I had both. Ah. Uh, ya se me olvidó. Oh, come on. Get it. Get it back. I have the same problem. I have a bad memory, so I understand. I'm so distracted. And I say, if I have both um, headphones, maybe I was tan perdida. I want to have lost who I am when ah, okay. I wouldn't. I feel so in the heaven. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wouldn't have been so lost. Always okay. with the structure. I wouldn't have been so lost. Okay. Nice. You're not that lost, girl. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you do your best. I know you have a lot of interest in this. You have shown that to me. So keep on working. Let me check another another group. Good job. All right. Of the English. The homework of the English. Okay. English homework. English homework. Okay. English homework. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. English uh -huh. homework. Yes. Okay. It's a complicated. <laughs> I, I see, I see. A little complicated. Let me try, let me try. For me, yes. if I had studied uh, as a full-time student, I would have a better job now. I would have... Ahí nos falta el verbo en past participle. Uh, I would have, let me, let me see, let me check. I would have graduated uh -huh. sooner. Yes. I would have graduated sooner. Yes, correct. Okay. Good job, Oscar. Uh -huh. uh, what you got, Mauri? It's, it's kind of difficult. Yeah, uh, you, you have to get used to it. Practice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. if, if I have got... If I had got, uh, I could have, uh, I could have uh, 
eh, ganaría, ganara, ganaría mucho dinero, ¿cómo lo diría? I would have earned. I would have, I would have earned. 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 Mm -hmm. Con D al final. Mm -hmm. Earned. 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 A lot. Earned. Nice. Ahí está, muy bien. A Earned. lot of money. A lot of money. A, a lot of money. Uh -huh. okay. A lot of money. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, guys. Let me check another group. Keep on practicing. The more examples, the better. Okay. If I have done. If I have done. Okay. Uh, it is, it, this is a structure. Okay. If I had done. In the complement. Okay, okay. Then, if I had done uh, my homework, uh, and you will have you will have a a better grade. <laughs> oh, I will have a better grade. I would have. <laughs> That's good. Remember that I would have is part of the structure. That's not going to change. I would have. Ese ah, I would okay. have es como, memorícenselo como que fuera frase. Y luego I would de, have. I would have. Pass participle. I would have had a better score. I a would have score. had a better score. I would have okay. a better score. I would have surprised the teacher. <laughs> Okay. 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 Good. Um, Irene and Adriana, I need an, an example from both of you, please. In, in my case, in the same example, if I have done my diet, I will have. I will have. Um. Uh, Fast participle. I will have have had. Uh huh. A, ver, a, a better health. A better health. Here. A better health. Look at look at my tongue. Health. Health. Uh huh. And air health. out of your mouth. Health. 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 Nice. Extend, extendamos un poquito más el. Health. health. Ahí vamos. Ahí vamos. Okay. It, it can improve, but yes, you're getting there. Irene. Okay. I will have had. A better health. Okay. Uh -huh. I agree. If I, I agree. No, uh -huh. no, you're Adriana, right? No, no, yes. it's Irene. If uh -huh. I had uh, learned to cook, mm -hmm. I I could have cooked to my family. Okay, cook for my family. Cook for my family. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you because I thought I, I thought it was Adriana. This again, I only see the pictures, and sometimes the square is yellow. So I think the system doesn't really tell me who who they are. So my apologies for the confusion. It's, again, all right, good job, guys. Let's go back. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we're waiting for the rest of the people. Nice, nice. Now, thank you very much, guys. I think there's a lot of, there, there are two groups that I didn't visit. Douglas, I think, did I visit yours? Yes, I did, right? Yes, yes, you did. Okay, I didn't visit William. Yep, William and... Uh, El otro muchacho como me llamo. I don't know. You talk to him. <laughs> okay. uh, Tom. And Tom, who's there? Where, where's Tom? Tom. I don't the know. The guy who, who who's wearing a, a black, a white t-shirt. Ah, it's because he's got Huawei J5 2019. That's why I got confused. Okay. So, guys, for tomorrow, this structure is not really that difficult. The thing is that it's a little bit, um, how, how can I say this? More practice. Confusing. Mm, complex. Complex. Complex, okay. okay. It's, it's a little bit complex. So, um, can you hear me? Are you still there? 
Yes. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, of course, of course. Recommend you to give me ten examples of expressing regret with that structure, and ten examples um, talking about hypothetical situations. Okay. But make sure you do it because if you don't do it, this topic is not going to be clear. If you have any questions, okay. we're going to fix them. Again, I won't be able to check in one day because of the amount of groups I have, everybody's homework, right? But try to make right. sure that you do subject, had, you know, very organized and follow the structure. So guys, thank you very much for being here. This is Alejandro Narbona. Hope you have a nice night. Get out of here. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care. Okay. Take care. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night.